Ed, you're up. Hello, are you there? Yeah, go ahead, Ed. Hi. Oh, I just want to start out. I'm 50 years old, which I think means when you were in grade 11, I was in grade 12 at Western Canada High School in Calgary. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, born and raised Calgary, moved away south of Calgary, not far from you right now, Danielle, and probably 15 years ago. Anyway, I've taken very good care of myself my entire life. I mean, other than I'm Irish and Scottish, which means I'm legally required to drink once in a while. I'm really good shape. I have zero fear of this virus whatsoever. And I think fear is the big problem here. And just one other point, just because someone's scared of something doesn't eliminate my rights. Okay? Anyway, fear. It's the big, biggest detriment to the human body and especially the human brain. Okay? It controls everything. You lack of sleep, the way you eat, the way you think, the way you rationalize, your blood flow, your adrenaline, and this all becomes chronic. This is a chronic condition that people need medical help for, and I fear right now that the mob mentality that's taken over with this mass situation and everything else is people are desperate, and I think we know which age group we're talking about, and I get it, you're afraid, but that doesn't waive my rights. And I think there's a lot of people who need to take a breath. They need to talk to someone professional and regain some perspective on this situation because I think perspective sorry, left a long freaking time ago. And I was hoping you could get someone on to discuss health options for these people, like that caller who said, wear a mask until there's a vaccine, no answers or buts. I'm not mad at that fellow. I feel very sorry for that man. That he is living in such a state that he is terrified the more animalistic parts of his brain have taken over and he's now part of a mob that wants to eliminate anyone who thinks different than they do and please get someone on get these people some help thank you and thank you for that look I, i've come to the conclusion that no one's going to convince me to change my mind i've looked at the facts and i've come to the same conclusions that ed has but if you're in a state of fear i don't think there's anything that i can say to you that's going to assuage your concerns I, i'll see what i can do on that one. i think it's an interesting thought for a future discussion maybe not related to covid maybe i can generalize it so that people can look at how they can put things into perspective and face fears. But that goes back to the article that, or the book that I recommended at the beginning of all of this by Hans Rosling, Factfulness. Like maybe it's because I'm a, a numbers gal and a stats gal that I'm able to put things into perspective. And so it alleviates fear for me. I'm not sure. Maybe my, maybe I'm, I'm actually from planet Vulcan. And so my, my emotional uh, intelligence is much lower than the average person. That's also entirely possible too.